Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get Fulbright for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you wanna do is go to your search bar, and you wanna type in Blendy Cat Fulbright, like so. And once you do this, you should see a GitHub page here called BlendyCat slash And all you want to do is click the link. And once you're here, all you want to do is go to the green code button. You want to click it. And now you want to do download zip. And now you have the Fulbright shader. It's that easy. And now what you want to do here is just go to a new tab. And you want to go ahead and go to Iris Shaders to run the shader. So just do Iris Shaders. You should see a website called irisshaders.dev here, just click irisshaders and what you want to do here is click download now and from there you want to do download universal jar here and you now have iris installer and as it's a .jar file you might also need java for windows so you might want to do jdk24 you should see a website called oracle here so java downloads here i will have this in the description if you need them but basically it is just java downloads it is this website here and you just do accept all, you want to scroll down a tiny bit, you should see JDK24, just select Windows if you're using Windows, and you should see an x64 installer here with the link here. This is the link that you need if you want to run iOS here if you don't have Java on your computer already. Although if you do, you can just go ahead and close your web browser, and you can go to your downloads folder. Now all you want to do is double click the iOS installer, and it should show up like this. It selects the latest Minecraft version for us, so we don't need to touch this. And all you want to do here is do iris only, or iris plus fabric if you want to use fabric mods, but we'll just do iris only here, as we just have a shader here. So we just do install, and now we should have iris. So now all you want to do is close the installer, and you want to go to your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we can add the full bright shader pack to the shader packs folder, and then we can continue. So here we have iris and sodium, all good. And that means we can go to the insertion tab here on the top. We can hover over iris and sodium and go to the folder icon. Then you should see a shader packs folder here. You want to double click it. And from there, you want to go to downloads. You want to select and copy the full black shader. You want to go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous shader pack. And basically, you want to go ahead and click paste. So, what we did here, we just went down Minecraft shader packs, copy paste full black. You want to have this set up here. And once you have it, you can go ahead and go to your Minecraft launcher and you can go to play, make sure iris and sodium is selected and click play. And now Minecraft will just load up and then we'll be able to test out the full bright shader pack. We do need to activate it first, but I'm gonna show you what happens when we do activate the shader pack. Okay, and once we have Minecraft here, all we wanna do here is just go ahead and go to a single player world, a multiplayer world, a realm, this is clone side. I'll just go to single player and I go to a tutorial world. And from there, I'm just gonna make this nighttime. So, real quick, so here it is slash time set midnight, why not? And as you can see, this is normal Minecraft uh, textures, it is kinda hard to see at night. And if you want to enable the full black shader pack, all you wanna do is go to escape. Options, video settings, shader packs, and here you just want to click full black shaders, it will become yellow, and do apply. And now if you escape everything, we now have full black. So yeah, it works as intended, and yeah, it just makes everything nice and easy to see. We can now see a hole, some mobs, and yeah, so that's what the full black shader pack do. It just makes it really easy to see at night and it works great so yeah so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye